BallScoped 1 features six different workouts. The variety is endless. Music options allow you to work out with or without music. This is just a sample of the moves involved in each workout. And you're going to take one leg out. And this time we're still going to drop straight down and push back and straight down and back. So you want to make sure you're feeling it right there in the glute and not as much in the front of the leg. You will work the front of the leg, but you're going to come back three quarters of the way right there and hold. That way it gives you a chance to really squeeze the butt, pushing the heel into the floor. Stomach is tight. Use your hands on the floor if you need to, because you want to focus on the exercise. The balance will come in time. And we got two more. Good. Now what we're going to do is go right into the next leg. So put that down, straight in the opposite, and take it down. As high as you can to the ceiling. Now your body has become like a tabletop. We call it the bridge. With the bridge, we're going to take it down and up. And down and up. So you want to think of it as squeezing the glutes when you come up but also think of it as squeezing the stomach and the low back together as you come up. Now your hands can go wherever they want. If you want to leave them right there, that's fine. If you can use them on the floor, that's fine. Again, if you want to make it a little harder, bring your feet in closer. And press it up. This is our biggest advantage of the ball. A nice deep stretch over the ball gets the abdominals in a free stretch position, and that helps you to activate deeper into the core as well as deeper into the oblique and the upper lower abs. And really command a lot from the abdominals. Now, if you start to get tired or if your low back hurts while we're doing this, then you need to stop. That means that your abs have fatigued and they can't do the exercise anymore. We've got one more. And now walk it forward on the ball slowly. And get that butt tight. One more time. There you go. That should feel nice and good for the whole lower body. Now we're going to take the ball and we're going to do some lunges. First thing we're going to do is start in a stationary lunge position. That's one foot forward and one foot back. Starting with the ball overhead. We're just going to take it down to a regular lunge, we're going straight down and up, way down and up. So it seems pretty easy when we start out, so we got the ball overhead, it doesn't seem too bad, but after a while, it starts to get the arms a little tired as well as the abdominals from keeping it nice and straight. So we're going to go side and center, side and center, still keeping that heel pressed into the floor. Stomach nice and tight, and getting as good of a rotation as you can. Now with that leg out to the side, start crunching, and you're going to actually be working a little more of your obliques, almost as if you were in a side crunch position. This is just lifting the tailbone to the ceiling and pressing the lower back down at the same time. Now you keep it very smooth, no hopping, no jumping, just slowly pressing the hips to the ceiling and the low back into the floor. If you want to make it harder, squeeze the ball more with your leg. Side, eyes are up. Keep that chin up. Exhale at the top. Feel those lower abs staying nice and tight. Hands are shoulder width apart or wider. Stomach is tight. The motor will push up down. Down and up. Now with a push up, you want to get as close to the floor as you can. Try and touch your chest to the floor. Now, stay there or go to level two, which is the knees on top of the ball. Okay, once you're there, go ahead and get ready and do your push-up. Stomach is tight. Go as low as you can and up. Try to touch your chest to the floor or at least your chin. 
One more time. Good. Now walk it out again or stay where you are. So you're either going to get 12 reps in one spot or some sort of combination. Here we go. Down and up. It's more like a full push up now. And one more time. And roll it back slowly. I know you don't want to roll back slowly, but you need to get those abs to work for you. And all the way down. And let's take it up and down. Now, if you did have a problem doing the dips, then you might just want to keep your legs where they were. Or you might even want to sit a little bit on the ball and just do like a practice dip. Otherwise, you're going to push up. Do not let the shoulders sink down. You're going to get a good squeeze. Squeeze. One more time. Do something a little more for the lower abdominals. So you're going to walk out on the ball. You should be throwing that by now. Your knees are going to be on top, and you can take it farther if you want to. But we'll start right here. So you're going to pull the knees into the chest and roll it back out. Now that sounds lovely to begin with. But as we keep doing them, you're going to start feeling those lower abs get nice and tight. So we get the advantage of the plank position as well as the pull-in for the lower abs. Good. Now at this point, you can either go back onto the knee or you can keep it here because we're going to do the same thing, but we're actually going to add a leg lift. So we're going to crunch and leg lift at the same time. Up. So a nice deep crunch. Begin your crunch by pulling the lower abs in, then the belly button, then the middle and upper abs. Now I know those aren't really technical sections, but you get the idea. So you should have a nice deep stretch right down here on the lower abs each time you stretch back over the ball. And that's the area you press in first. Ball Sculpt 1 features even more exercises than shown here. For more information, check the website allinoneworkout.com. This DVD can be purchased at Amazon.com.